Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to finish the raw edges of your fabric. We will be working with cottons and then also the rayon, chalice, you know, the slinky fabric. I'm going to show you how to finish the hem fast. Okay, in this tutorial we will be using... The narrow hemmed foot. So get out your narrow hemmed foot because today we are going to conquer the skill. Okay, this is a fast time-saving sewing tip. So let's not waste any more time and let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to start off with this crepe fabric and it doesn't really iron because generally I would tell you, okay, iron it first and then slide it under. This one does not iron. So curl it twice, get it under your sewing foot. And immediately just put your needle down so that you can secure it. And then you can do a couple of stitches and just put it right underneath there. Now another technique you can do is grab your thread tails, mine are not very long, and you can go like this and use your thread tails to guide it underneath. And then this is going to curl it. So in the beginning you can just lightly guide it and then you're ready to go. Now see, you can see where it does a slight curve um, at the very, very end. So you'll just kind of guide that. And I am pulling it just slightly to make it a little bit firm. And again, this might take some practice. Okay, and there you have it. It's a perfect hem. Before we move on to the cotton, I'm going to show you some mistakes that you might make when you first start out, which are completely normal. And I'm going to make my threads longer because I've seen people do this. I don't seem to have a problem, but you might think it's easier this way to do a long thread tail and then get your fabric under there. I try to roll mine, although it might come unrolled, which is okay. So slide that under your foot and put the needle down and then you can hold on to that thread tail let me do a couple of stitches here okay that was kind of more than a couple and then hold on to your thread tail and you can kind of help that pull and guide this through the flap like that and so now it's in that flap, but you don't want the raw edge showing right there. So you're just gonna kind of lightly curl it under. And now, and you are ready to go. Okay, and so now I'm going to show you like a mistake that I made in the beginning. I'm gonna see if I can make that again. And let's see. Okay, here we go. So I'll show you this one. See, so if it's the raw edge is showing, gosh, it's like I can't make the mistake anymore. So you can see where you're kind of losing it right there. It's okay. In the beginning, you'll want to go slow. All you have to do is just simply um, guide it again, and it'll go right back on track. See, and it's just going to go. Okay, now another th thing that I messed up on, and I'll, I'll try to do it purposely, is where it's too thick, let's see. Um, let's see if you're going like this. Okay, here, now it's good. Well, it's still not doing it. I'm just that good at it. Okay, you don't want this to happen. Okay, here we go. I showed you, okay. And then now I'll make it better. So then you want it to be thin again. Thank you. 
Okay, so a common mistake that I did in the beginning is see how the raw edge is showing. That's okay, that doesn't mean that your sewing foot doesn't work. You just need more practice. Cause see over here, it's fine again. And then that is the other thing that uh, commonly happens when you first start out is it doesn't flip. So again, it just takes practice. Now that I have practice, it's hard for me to make those kind of mistakes. So now let's go ahead and move on to Now I will show you how I do this on a knit fabric. So again, I'm just going to put that in place, put my needle down, do a couple stitches, and I'm gonna lift up my foot and just kind of maneuver that right in there. And we are good to go. The knit, it tends to curl itself anyways, so this one kind of has the opposite effect. You don't want to get too much in this area. No. So it is like right up against that edge right there. So it's really, really perfect. Pan my camera out so you can see what's kind of going on in the back end here. Okay, there you go. See, so this is where I had my needle right there in the center. Let me put it in the light so you can see it. So look how beautiful that is. And then I moved my needle slightly to the left, but you can't really tell a difference. So it's not so close to the edge, but what a clean look. This is so good when you're working with especially doing a, like a circle shape skirt or dress. If you've ever tried to iron it and then hem it, uh, yeah, I don't like it. It becomes a big mess, but this is so effortless. I just love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to cotton. And all I did was iron just the very beginning of it. And so I can put it in here and put my needle down. And then I go ahead and work this into that flap. See, and then I got it right in there. And now I'm ready to go. If you feel like you're starting to lose it, just go like this and you're gonna guide it again. But as long as you just keep practicing, you will definitely get better at it. So I got my needle down and I'm just gonna lift up the foot so that I can put this in the little hook and latch. See, just like that. And then put the foot down and now we are ready to go. Okay, so now we're at the end where I started. Here's a seam right here. So I'm just gonna kind of guide it. I'm just gonna kind of fold it under like this. And then I'm gonna have to, well, let's see, I'll show you. So I'm gonna have to take it out of the loop here at the end or else it'll get stuck in it. So let's see. And so then this is where I would just pull it out and do my own little folding. Okay, and so then there is the edge. I didn't quite meet it, but that is okay. So here is the overall look. Okay, and just like that, we are done. We have a finished garment, a finished dress. So if you like this tutorial or if I left anything out, then please, you know, leave me a comment below if you have any questions. I'm also going to leave a link to where you can purchase the rolled hem foot. I got mine. It was three 
different sizes, three different feet on Amazon. Um, I think it was like $7 for three of them. So not a bad deal. And it's worth the time to uh, m master this skill, I think, because it has saved me so much time. I mean, I actually like, I don't even know like where I would be without my rolled, <laughs> without my rolled hem foot. You can also find me on Instagram at Simply Delilah one I post all my sewing creations there. Also consider checking out my tutorial on how I make beautiful ruffles. And as always, thank you for watching and until next time, happy sewing!